Hello and welcome to my presentation about our paper, It's your loss, classifying information loss during invariability model one transformations. This work has been the collaborative work between University of Ulm and the Johannes Kepler University. So uh, with our with our work, uh, we in our work we work with uh, build modeling approaches, and as most of you will know, there are many of them developed in the last thirty years. Uh, first of all, uh, first of coming to mind often are feature modeling like FGD or the universal variability language, uh, or decision modeling approaches like Doppler or EVML. But there are also a lot of other different variability modeling approaches out there, like orthogonal variability modeling, UML-based uh, approaches, or textual uh, approaches. But also the open source community and industry uh, has been active in that regard and has developed their own uh, approaches to model variability for their specific use cases. And the problem here is there are so many different approaches out there that it's really tough to find out, okay, which one is suited to uh, to address my needs best. And with our work, we want to aim towards uh, to support researchers and practitioners, uh, also, of course, when they are new to the field, to better understand the strengths and weaknesses of these different approaches and pick the right approach for the specific use case. Because all these different variability modeling approaches have been shown to be useful, at least for a certain domain or use case, and have the strengths and weaknesses, like all other things in life as well. And in the last couple of uh, years, um, and uh, has uh, there's one specific approach uh, always discussed with, with variability model transformations. So the idea is that you start modeling with one specific use case, uh, variability modeling approach, uh, like a feature, feature model here, and you can transform it to another approach, in this case, a Doppler decision model, uh, to try out a, a different approach. And the advantages here are you can then switch between these different approaches without losing an already invested modeling efforts. So when you are new to the field, you try out, let's say, VJD, uh, uh, feature models, figure out, okay, there are certain things which you cannot really do, which you would like uh, to support with your, uh, or what you need to address a use case. And then you switch to a different approach, uh, which promises to address the, these needs which you have. And you don't have to redo everything, but it, you don't lose all the invested modeling efforts already. When you're specifically new and you're just trying out all the different approaches, you can always experiment with, with these different approaches before you select a specific one. And you additionally can integrate other tools or the tools which come with these different approaches with other approaches. So when you model a variability in using, for instance, Doppler, and you want to use certain analysis techniques which are provided by FeedJD, you can transform uh, the Doppler model to FeedJD feature models or the U uh, universal variability language, import it into the FeedJD tool, and then do your an analysis uh, with the resulting model. But that uh, is... Uh, the, the idea, the problem here is that there are certain semantic and expressiveness differences between these different uh, approaches, which can cause information loss. And the problem with this information loss is that it could also harm your configurability and potentially uh, allow you to develop or derive broken or invalid products from your variability model. And that is something we have to investigate further. So what do we need? I mean, with the uh, dif uh, differences, um, again, uh, a feature day feature model or OVL feature model uh, on the bottom and then the bottom a Doppler decision model, both modeling the same product line for online shop, but they look different, obviously. But there are more is more to it. Uh, for instance, in feature models, you usually only model uh, not only model the variability but also the commonalities. This is out of scope of decision model. So you will never see mandatory features to be modeled specifically in, in a decision model. 
And we do a one to transformation that can be a, a, a problem. Also, in Doppler decision model specifically, you are allowed to de uh, define decisions based on a uh, number of string values. So you ask the uh, user who is deriving a product uh, for certain values, which then configure the product. That is not possible with feature model. And there are certain cardinality problems, in this case specifically with feature ED feature models. UVL does support that, but in feature modeling, uh, feature ED feature models, you have to uh, create a set of constraints to model cardinalities like two to three elements or two to three features from this feature group must be selected. And the problem here is that we all know, okay, there is certain information that's happening. And usually right now, the, these are things which are accepted during the transformation or and are not further investigated. That is what we wanted to do with our work today, which is to uh, build on mapping tables between the four different approaches, we wanted to investigate the information of which is happening between these two, uh, these four approaches. We therefore select the feature ID feature models, the universal variability language feature models, Doppler decision models, and OVM. And based on these mapping ta tables, we identified patterns and uh, defined four informational classes. The first informational class is the uh, uh, the good one where we can use a, an entity like a feature or a decision uh, or any relationship, a constraint, a rule can be then transformed one by one to this different approach, like a decision to a feature or a feature to uh, a constraint to a rule without losing any information because they have the same configurability, they have the same uh, purpose like an optional feature is transformed to a Boolean decision uh, in this uh, other language. And then, then it can happen during the round trip that you lose some structural information, meaning that you have originally developed a, a set of constraints concatenated, but when you do the round trip via another approach, this approach, uh, these constraints are split up, for instance, or they are written a different in a different way. Um, they are still uh, defining the same configuration space, but they look different and can be uh, somehow uh, mis misleading when, when, when you know the original model. So that is what we call a structural loss. The configuration space remains identical, but the uh, appearance of the model is different. There are certain other losses which cannot be uh, uh, it's not, not, not purely structural, they are semantically. Uh, for instance, in the uh, abstract feature, which is transformed to uh, a Doppler decision model, and then back, this uh, abstract uh, property of this feature gets lost because there is no abstract decision in, uh, in the decision model. And that is what is lost. And then the most severe one, configurability loss, meaning that you have an entity or relationship which cannot be transformed in its full capacity to another approach and therefore is lost during the round trip transformation. That, uh, for instance, is with the Doppler decisions of type number or string, where you can use any arbitrary number or string as an answer, but that is not possible with feature modeling and therefore the information is lost. So with these four types, uh, I would like to uh, show you uh, how such a mapping table looks like when you use UVI feature models uh, as a starting point and transform it to a Doppler decision model. So first off, UVI feature models allows the definition of a feature model scattered across multiple UVL files. So you can import uh, and use namespaces to make that easier um, to import uh, UVL models in other UVL models, and that is not possible in Doppler decision models. You can mitigate this uh, this uh, configurability loss by unfolding all the scattered files of UVL models into one huge UVL model file, 
and then transform this mo uh, this uh, in this model into a Doppler decision model and back. And but during the round trip, you cannot really say, okay, how has it split uh, split up originally? So you lose that, but you mitigate it at least to a structure loss. And there are uh, the features which are transformed to decisions in decision modeling, which is perfectly fine and it's possible, but as mentioned before in the definition, there are certain properties and attributes which are possible with UVL, which are not part of the uh, Doppler and decision modeling in general, like abstract or hidden features or any numeric uh, attribute features and so on, uh, attributes to features, uh, which are then lost. They don't change the configuration space, so we have a semantic loss. And in UVL, UVL allows the specification of two to three cardinalities, so that is uh, perfectly fine. You can transform that, uh, everything to Doppler decision models and back. Now, when we switch around and start from Doppler, um, we easily see first glance already the multiple times already discussed number and string decision. So normal decisions like Boolean and enumeration decisions can be transformed, that's no problem, but number and string decisions, you will can transform with certain strategies to discrete values, like to have one feature for each number from zero to 100, but nevertheless, you will lose information, a configurability loss uh, when you transform it to a feature. The same uh, extends then as well to the set of constraints and uh, expressions which are possible with Doppler. Because Doppler not only allows the configuration via rules and to set the case of one Boolean decision sets another Boolean decision, uh, comparable to a uh, requires constraint in feature modeling, but also rules and constraints based on uh, values of decisions, like on the number decision again, when you set a certain value above 50, you have to select another uh, decision as well. And that is not possible with uh, UVL feature models. So in the end, uh, Doppler decision models are more expressive than uh, UVL feature models. And uh, yeah, you, you will lose some information when you transform Doppler models to UVL and back. From the other way around, UVL feature models to Doppler, you have certain mitigation strategies where you can where you can at least preserve the configuration space as it is. Based on uh, these mapping tables, we also defined mapping tables for the other four approaches or using UVL as an uh, pivot model, uh, we performed an evaluation. And in concretely, we asked ourselves, okay, how frequently do the information loss classes happen in the transformed reliability models? So it, only, not only in one way, but specifically in the round trip transformation, because we transform one model to another model uh, of type B, so a feature a UVL model to a Doppler model, and this model back, and then we compared the two uh, original UVL model and the round two transform model. Therefore, we selected a set of uh, set of models of each approach, uh, and all of them are of varying size and complexity. We then manually inspected the resulting models and identified, okay, are there differences? And if so, could we verify the observed information losses using the intermediate model so that we can verify, okay, this loss was caused by the transformation. We then classified the observed information losses using our information loss classes and then uh, identified the round trip quality of this transformation so that we performed, uh, specifying them as identical, equal, or a loss uh, transformation. Meaning identical that the original model and the resulting round trip model are identical in structure and configuration space. Equal means that you have changes in appearance in the structure of the of the uh, resulting transformed model, but 
the configuration space remains identical. So all valid as well invalid configurations are invalid and invalid in the resulting round trip model. And loss means that you lost certain configuration space uh, and, and mods. So with our uh, uh, time, um, I focus then again on the transformation from OVL to Doppler and vice versa. And we transformed six uh, OVL models to Doppler. And uh, first off, I would like to start with an, this easy example of the server feed uh, OVL model, um, which um, had some uh, 10 in total 12 decisions and 12 rules. And then when we transformed it back, we found that we had two semantic losses, but no structural losses and configuration losses. And two semantic losses caused from the abstract features which uh, which were not abstract anymore. But from structure and everything else, uh, the model was uh, the same was it and was identical, except for the two abstract features. For a more complex one, we found that uh, found this a similar transformation result that all the abstract features, 22 in this example, have been lost. Also, 176 structure losses appeared. This seven, uh, 176 structure losses appeared due to changes in the constraints. So the majority of structure losses in our evaluation were shown to be found mainly in uh, the constraints because the constraints in the round trip model may look a little bit different. So like a, a, a required constraint, which was originally a little bit uh, different uh, 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 described. For the other way around, we started with uh, Doppler models and transformed them to real and back. And therefore, I want to focus right away on the top three and specifically on this uh, first decision uh, decision model, where we found that we had certain configuration losses happening. We had also structural losses, but the majority of configuration losses. Uh, was the most important thing. And I want to talk about that a little bit further. In this decision model concretely, we have multiple uh, number decisions, which have a given set of uh, values to, to choose from, or a set of uh, a range of values. And that cannot be transformed as found in the mapping table as well to a new VL model. And therefore we lose this information and had to do some mitigation. In the mitigation, uh, we so they, uh, created one feature for e each integer value of this range. But in Doppler, you can also create all double values. So you lose certain configuration space with uh, with this transformation. Uh, in, so the round trip quality obviously is a loss and we have correctly identified the loss of information. In our, uh, we had similar results for all the other uh, directions. So from OVL to VJD and back, also from OVL to OVM and back. And we concluded for our research question that the information loss classes can be found in the transform variability models and are therefore applicable to existing variability models. We further found out that the information loss classes correctly then indicate how the information is lost during the one-way and transformation, which is a promising result uh, for, for further future work, which I want to talk then uh, right after the summary. So for to sum up our, our work, we in our work investigated the information loss occurring between four variability modeling approaches, mainly VJD feature models, OVL feature models, Doppler decision models, and orthogonal variability models. In total, based on patterns and the mapping tables, we identified four information loss classes, which we evaluated using an applicability study. For the future work, we obviously want to extend this additional this work to additional variability modeling approaches and also to more uh, more models of each type, such that we have more insight in the in the models. And we want to uh, perform a usefulness study to, among with modelers from academia, but also from industry. The original found uh, indication that they indicate the right uh, the losses which happened. Um, 
uh, can they also be found by, by non not so experienced modelers or do they indicate the, 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 them correctly to to the to the models but with that thank you very much and thank you for looking forward to questions